So I promised that this vlog would be really interesting and here I am on the old uh, disco bus. Probably the only man to be on the disco bus this summer. And we're here at the biggest nightclub in the world, Privilege. So hopefully if all goes to plan, I'll get to take a little walk around and show you the biggest nightclub in the world, empty. Sad really, isn't it? So, I don't know if you know, if you, if you haven't been to Ibiza, the scale of the clubs here. Privilege is the biggest club in the world with a capacity of over 10,000 people. And the walkway here just leading into it, many of you will have come here to see like the likes of Farman Van Buren, Tiesto, uh, Manumission have come down these stairs. It's quite eerie to see it this way, look at it. So yeah, everybody would congregate here normally and they'd queue up. Um, and this is the doors into the biggest club in the world. Look at some of the faces there. That's the outdoor globe as well, so sort of like the smoking area. Um, and these are obviously the ticket booths, because um, all cl club events here in Ibiza are ticketed, just like a concert. So before um, I try and get into the club, I'm just going to show you the little walkway down here. Obviously the view looks out to Dolph Villa. And this is the second club so the club itself is huge it's like a warehouse um, and this is the smaller room it's more the underground room the vista you enter it up here and then usually there'll be people taking your tickets or um guest list etc in that queue obviously the club hasn't been opened since last summer but you can just see the absolute scale of this place Okay, so I'm going to try and show you how big this is by running. Wait for it. So yeah, here is the Vista Club. And this is the main room of privilege. Freddie Mercury's played there. Oh, the list goes on. I'll, I'll put a full um, list in the description. I normally enter here in these doors because this is a, the artist uh, media entrance and obviously anytime I'm coming to the club it's usually work related. So I'm going to see if we can get inside now and have a look. Excited. I've seen it empty but to, I have seen the club empty but for you guys this must be pretty, quite interesting. Wow. Yeah. So we're going to get on the stage. Um, the last time I was on the stage, I think it was like years ago, uh, for Martin Garrix's show before he was super big. Um, but yeah, let's just look at this. Oh my days. Speechless. And this is the Vista Club. Um, that goes all the way back down here. And this is the DJ booth area here. And the roof and the lighting is insane. But you imagine what the sunrise is here. Whenever the clubs are allowed to stay open until 7 or 8 a.m., the sunrise from here. You're dancing here with all your friends. And the sun is usually rising around here. The sky is just orange and just everybody's having a good time um so surreal to see this this club room actually was the home of el ro when el ro first came to ibiza from barcelona and um, so a lot of people don't don't know that el ro is such a large scale show um at the minute obviously all over the globe all over the planet but it started in here in ibiza just this little tiny room so intimate buzzing gonna have a dance the only person have a dance in a club, the club. 
and this is more where the high sort of rollers come in. Obviously, it's a shell at the moment. This club is really nice in the, in the summer. It's been on touch for nearly a year. So yeah, we're at the very back of the club. I mean, in the, the, the days of like when Arma Van Buren was here, like there would be thousands of people all the way back here and just, just a sea of people. So yeah, I would normally come in here with my friends because I get a cheeky wristband. And then this is sort of the VIP area. There's toilets. You've got your privileged board. I'm out of breath running around a nightclub for all your Instagram photos. And then this is kind of where the booths are. All the way down. Obviously, the further you get up, the more it costs to stay. Another shot of the club. Then we have another smoking room area out there. That's usually a really good laugh when you've had a few drinks and you're just chatting to tourists. You go down that way. And then there's the VIP bar. Look, it is dusty, um, but that would obviously get a massive clean up before the summer um, starts. Would have been such a good summer this year as well. Resistance on a Tuesday. Oh, the show is just out of this world. I'd be very lucky that Jose has let me come into the club today. Um, a few people have asked to sort of do that sort of content and here I am and uh, yeah I think we'll leave it at that I might do something after we leave the club but I hope you've enjoyed this tour of privilege um, I would love to know how many of you have actually been in the club and um, so leave a comment what's your favorite night uh, or that you were at mine probably would have been I'm gonna say Tiesto because that was probably my real first festival feeling, clubbing vibe. Obviously I've been lucky to travel all around the world with the DJs and stuff and all the shows within New York, Amsterdam, Berlin, Miami over the years with work. But uh, it doesn't, it's just so cool to be just strolling around Ibiza because I think nobody's had access to the clubs. Jose, the owner has kindly said, if you ever wanna do anything, just let him know. Um, and yeah, that's probably been a really good beneficial thing in Ibiza now. I'm getting to speak to people that probably wouldn't really have the time because nobody is doing anything. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed that. If you do like any Ibiza content, subscribe. Um, and obviously drop me a comment, tell me where you are in the world or some of you probably haven't seen a club that big. That was big.